apologize for the audio in this video in advance. My audio situation has been ever-changing. Welcome to the video. This video will be a little bit different than the other game style videos I did because I won't actually be actively playing Stardew Valley because I have already played so many hours of Stardew Valley and I will be talking about it while also giving you tips and tricks along the way. Stardew Valley has consumed way too much of my waking and sleeping life. I have spent hours pouring as much of the Stardew Wiki as possible into my brain. So I will be sharing with you what I deem the essentials of Stardew Valley. This will be perfect for beginners and still very enjoyable for pre-established players. I'm excited. Aren't you excited? I'm so excited. I love this game. Number one, here are the best average purchasable crops from Pierre for every season. Spring, potato, summer, blueberry, fall, cranberry, and winter, I will talk about later. Number two, when Demetrius inevitably comes to your door and asks which kind of cave you want, pick fruit bats. Do not pick mushroom cave. Anyone who picks the mushroom cave is objectively wrong. It helps complete the community center way faster, and you can get any fruit ever all year round, including the forageable ones and including during the winter. Also, fruit sells for more than mushrooms do. Number three, which animals you pick is mostly up to you, but at the end of the day, you technically never need to buy sheep. You only need to buy rabbits. They cost the same amount as rabbits do, but rabbits give you wool along with rabbit's feet, which are incredibly valuable. Sheep only give you wool, so they are practically useless in comparison. They're quite cute though. Number four, I would recommend for your first and probably second year, planting one of every seed for shipping purposes, but also for bundles and random requests you're going to get from the town people. You get a lot of these, and it's a pretty good idea for the first two years to keep one of everything in a chest somewhere. Number five, stop sleeping through winter. Plant winter seeds, or if you're too lazy to forage for the first set, you can go to the mines. The children yearn for the mines, as do you and I. You can make bank on what you find or save it as resources for upgrades. Lastly, you can redecorate your farm. I always seize this opportunity each winter because it doesn't waste any of my farming time and it looks beautiful the next spring. Number seven, if you're going for 100% perfection or trying to complete a bundle, maybe if you're trying to fill a pond or something reasonable like that, it makes sense to fish. But otherwise, don't put yourself through the, the stress and the ordeal of trying to catch fish. I think, and respectfully, I love this game. It's my favorite game in the entire world. But I've spoken with other players about it too, and I think, personally, Stardew Valley has one of the least enjoyable fishing mechanics out of all the games that I can name. Just from one anxious person to another, don't do that to yourself. You really don't need to. It's not worth it. Number eight. This is a late game tip, but once you're rolling in the dough and you have all of that paper, Stop crafting iridium sprinklers. Sprinkler? Sprinklers. You can buy them from Krobus instead on Fridays. It's like a drop in the bucket. Late game. It really, it, it's nothing. It's nothing. And it's, you get it instantly. Plus, he's a little guy. You can support a small business and, and he's just, he's just a little guy. I love Krobus. We love Krobus here. But never buy his void eggs. They are way too overpriced. Sorry, buddy. But anyways, that was the last bit of information I have to bestow upon you at this time. Thank you so, so much for watching and indulging my rant. 
I don't think it counts as a hyperfixation technically. If I were to have a hyperfixation though, Stardew Valley is probably the closest thing that I can think of. One of the two that I can think of. If you play Stardew Valley, let me know in the comments. Let me know if I forgot anything, what you like about the game, if you like this video, etc. Have a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, or holiday.